Giannis in Greece, and I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Um, why do we care so much about low THD in electronics? It's a good question. I mean, it's good to have low distortion overall, but what's the point of achieving ultra low distortion? Let's say 110 dB down or less on an amplifier or a DAC when the speakers themselves often hit THD levels higher than 0.1%. In fact, 0.1 is pretty darn good for a loudspeaker. That's also true for the analog setups or even a tiny variance in the turntable speed can produce much higher distortion than the amplifier or the DAC. Mm, sure, I agree with that, but okay. I get the point. The turntable cartridge itself can have significant distortion compared to the phono power amp. Please enlighten me. Well, you're not wrong. Truth is, and we've said this so many times, but it's always good to repeat it because uh, we always say things differently every time we, we repeat something. Anything that is 0 0.1, 0 0.01 or so distortion really is in the realm of you're not going to be able to hear this. The biggest factors in what we hear don't have so much to do with distortion. Although as manufacturers, we love to say, you know, hey, it's got no distortion. It's 100 dB down. But is the difference between 0 0.0001 distortion and 0 0.01 distortion meaningful in a DAC or an amplifier? On the one hand, no, absolutely not you're not going to be able to tell the difference if everything was the same. If we had a magic switch where we could just zoop, zoop, and change the amount of distortion from this down to this, down to this, and it didn't rise above a certain level of audibility, which is about a tenth of a percent, then it wouldn't matter. What does matter is how you got there. That can make a huge difference, and the reason is we using simple harmonic and intermodulation distortion measurements can only tell a small bit of why things sound the way they do. They don't take into consideration, for example, phase shift. They don't take into consideration slew rate. They don't take into consideration amounts of negative feedback, how much local feedback, what type of topology, is it balanced, unbalanced? All these things make a significant difference sonically, but they could measure identically. So the biggest point is, first off, simple THD and IM measurements are not all that indicative of how something is going to sound. So whether you have a very little bit or a not so much, you know, a, a marginally uh, distorted area that is below a tenth of a percent, it's not really going to matter much. Not from that standpoint. It's how you got there. That's what you're hearing. All right? I hope that helps. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.